Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you how to send videos over from a Samsung to an iPhone or vice versa. And I'll show you basically how to do it the easiest way possible. I'll show you two different ways. One of them does not require any apps or anything like that. The other one does. And then uh, hopefully by the end of this, you'll know how to send the video at full quality. And this uh, should make your life easier. So to start off, let's say I want to send a video from the iPhone over to the Samsung. So I'll just start a video right here just to show you from uh, step one. So let's say this is the video I want to send over to the Samsung device. And then, um, so when you go to your gallery, this is the video I just took right there. And then, uh, so when you hit the share button, like usual, so hit share, uh, there is an option that says copy iCloud link. So you'll tap on the copy iCloud link. It's generating the link right now. And then after it closes like this, that means it's done. So uh, right now you can just close out. All you need right now is just to be able to text it over to this phone. So um, I don't have a SIM card inside this phone, so I can't use normal messages. So I use Google Voice. You can use like a Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp or anything like that. Uh, but I'm guessing you'll probably have a SIM card in both because most of the time you'll be sending it to somebody, not to another one of your devices. So I'm just pasting the link right here. I'm sending the link over to myself. So what I need to do right now is just basically receive the link and it's right there. I just got it. So. Uh, I'll just tap on the link and what it will do is it will take you over to the iCloud.com and this is where the video was uploaded and then you can watch the video over here or you can hit the download button so I normally just hit download download and then now it's starting to download you can give the file a name now this is not the final one so I'll show you uh, what to do next so you'll hit download and it downloaded it right there and it says open file. So when you open file, uh, how iCloud does it is it's a uh, compressed file. So basically it's a file that has the video inside of it. So what you would need to do is it's already, it already selects it for you when you hit the open file option. And then all you need to do is hit the extract button on the bottom. So I'll hit extract. You can give it a name right now. So extract. So this is the actual file where you tap on it and this is your video. So if you tap on it, and uh, I'll show you right here, if I hit the three dots up top and I hit details, you'll see that the video was sent over on 4K quality, 30 FPS, which is, this is what I had this one set up for. So it's sending it at absolutely full quality. All right, so next up, we need to send a video from the Samsung over to the iPhone. So let's make our video right here. I'll start videos and I'll just take a random video where I'm taking a video of the phone. So then uh, to send this over to, uh, to the iPhone, it's very similar. So what you'd need to do is, Here's the video I just took. I will hit the share button. And then you'll see that there's an option called link sharing on the top under the icon of the video. So you, you'll just tap that link. So right now it generated the link for us and then you'll hit copy. So you can hit copy to copy the link or you can just pick whatever app you want to send it with. Like uh, I have Google Voice right there. I have uh, like normal, you have the normal messages, WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, whatever you want. Uh, but I tend to like to copy the link because I feel like it's less steps and then just paste it wherever you want to uh, uh, send it. So I sent the link right here. So all I need to do on the other device is basically go over to uh, Google Voice. There's the link I just sent. I'll just tap on it. And there you go. So it took you to the Samsung iCloud or SamsungCloud.com. And then here's your video. You can either watch the video on uh, Samsung Cloud. And then, but if you do that, it will be less quality. And then uh, the other option is you can either hit the download. Normally, if you sent multiple videos, they will all show up next to each other right here. And you can hit download for everything. Or you can select the specific video that you want to download. And you can hit the download button right here. So I'll just hit download. This is uh, just telling you this is the file you're trying to download. And then you'll hit open in, scroll down, save video. So then after that, just go to your gallery. And when you're in your gallery, you'll see it's the last one that showed up right here. And there you go. This is the video that we just sent over. Now, this was the second way. And uh, both of these ways, like I said, it does not require any apps or anything like that. And a couple of things to know is that uh, with the Samsung one, whenever you take a video with the Samsung and you uh, are generating that link and you send the link over, it might take uh, like uh, from anywhere from a couple of seconds to a couple of minutes uh, because uh, depending on how big the file is that you're putting and how many videos you're uploading, uh, sometimes it takes a couple of seconds for them uh, or a couple of minutes for them to actually process on the cloud. Uh, so they might not be able to download it right away, uh, but eventually that link, you will uh, actually let them be able to see all the videos and then start downloading them. But uh, just keep in mind that it might take a little bit. Now, next up, uh, I talked about uh, Send Anywhere in my last video, and uh, I know some people uh, thought that Send Anywhere requires a, a network or requires both of you to be on the same Wi-Fi. So what I'll show you right here is 
This device right here is connected to the Wi-Fi and it doesn't have a SIM card inside of it. So it does not have any uh, cellular, cellular data. And then uh, on this device, what I'll do is I'll just turn off my Wi-Fi and uh, it's connected to cellular data. And I also have my Bluetooth turned off. And on this device, my Bluetooth uh, is turned off. So the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to simulate as if the two devices are nowhere near each other. So both Bluetooth are turned off so they don't see each other that way. And then they're both not on the same network. One is on cellular and one is on uh, Wi-Fi. And then after that, I'll open the app for uh, Send Anywhere. And then, uh, and this is actually easier, but it depends because a lot of people don't like to download a new app to uh, be able to just send a video or something like that. So, uh, but I tend to prefer it because I feel like it's faster and it's easier, less steps. Uh, but let's say I want to send that same video or both these videos that I sent back and forth uh, over to this device. So I'll just hit send. I selected both the videos that I wanted and I hit send. And then uh, normally if you're nearby that person, you can scan the QR code. But if you're far away from that person, let's say they're somewhere else, uh, then all you would need to do is uh, when you're on receive, you can just put the uh, code right here, which uh, you can text them that code. So it's 226085 receive. And you'll see that even though they're both on different networks, they both have the Wi-Fi turned off. They're, they're sending the videos to each other right now. So I initially thought that the app was actually uh, sending it over the network, just like uh, people in my comments were asking. Uh, but it turns out it actually does it, uh, I'm assuming, by upload, uploading it to a specific cloud and then downloading it onto the new device. Uh, but it works that way. It's pretty easy. And you can do it the same way uh, around as well. You can hit send and then you can pick the same two videos that you want and then send. And then it will give you the link same way. And over here, you'll go to the receive tab on the bottom and you could put in your number and it will download it the same exact way. So those are the best two ways I found so far for sending uh, videos back and forth between two devices uh, when you don't have to be near that person. And uh, yeah, if you have any other questions and uh, or any concerns or anything I missed, let me know down in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video or got something uh, helpful out of it. Don't forget to like, subscribe and uh, yeah, peace out.